Hey what up, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to prepare your Flutter app to publish and release on the App Store. This tutorial is part of the launch module from the Build Launch Monetize course and covers all the things related to the app submission process. So let's start by preparing our app icon and then I'll take you through the journey of publishing to the App Store. So I've got my image icon prepared on my desktop. It's a PNG file. So once you've got that prepared, let's open up our project and drag it into our assets folder. This is the package we're going to use. So it's called Flutter Launcher Icons. And so I want you to go to this documentation if you need any specific instructions on certain things. So I can show you real quick how to do this simply for our iOS app. So firstly, in the terminal, let's add in the package. And then go to your pubspec.yaml and you can see there it is. Now let's specify some certain things. So let's say iOS is true. And then there's this remove alpha iOS thing that we have to say true. So I'm just gonna remove this. This is just one of the more recent updates. You can make your icon dynamically change. But I'm just going to say remove that part and then the image path is the most important thing. So save that. And then in our terminal, we can run this command now. So dot run and then run the package. And successfully generated. Beautiful. Now let's go to our code and just rebuild the app. My code has been rebuilt. Now, hopefully, if I go to my home screen, yay, you can see the icon has been changed. Beautiful. Now, one thing I want you to do is, if you open up Xcode, you know this bundle ID. We set this at the very beginning of the course. So now we're going to use this to go to our App Store Connect, and let's create our new app. So let's try to publish our app finally. So select a name and fill these things out. For the SKU, if this is your first app, just say 001 and let's create. Now the name is taken, so I'm just gonna say like Moonbase with a dollar sign. And I've already made apps before, so I think I'm up to number six. There we go. Sweet, so we are now on this submission page and we just need to fill everything out. Coming back to our code, you can see the app. I want you to go to iOS runner and then info.plist and this display name, you can see it says BLM app. So I'm gonna change this to just whatever I want. So Moonbase. And then again, if I just rebuild the app, hopefully it'll give us the good name. Yes, there it is, Moonbase. Sweet. And then now let's go to our terminal and type flutter build iOS. Done. Now open up your Xcode again. And at the top, if you go to the product tab, go to archive, and it'll start to build the app for us. So this will take a little bit of time, but once it's done, it'll show you this, and we can distribute app to the App Store Connect. Cool, so again, this will take a little bit of time, and you'll get an email from Apple when the build has been finished, cool. So like I said, you'll get an email in a few minutes or a little bit of time that your build has been finished processing. And so if you just refresh the page, you can see now we can add the build and there it is. Let's say none of the algorithms because we didn't use any encryption and save it. So this is looking good. Now what we need to do is we need to do screenshots. So I want you to just screenshot the main pages. Maybe even the dark mode would be useful. Cool. 
And then you can see here, it tells you in the screenshots what exact specification that we need. So this part is required. So we need to drag up to 10 screenshots in here. So you can see these sizes with the pixels. Now to get this exact size, you can use any tool that you want. I like to use Canva because it's free. And so you can go to a custom size and I'm going to use this exact pixel size. And you can see I've already did it before. So for the width and the height, and let's just create the design and let's just import our screenshots in. And just fill it up. And I think I'm going to do a total of like four screenshots. And these you can always change in the future. So I'm just going to simply put our screenshots in. Sweet. So there's our four pictures. And then I'm going to download this. Sweet. And then I want you to drag those images in to your App Store Connect. And you can rearrange them in order if you like. And that's looking really good. Now, one thing that I just noticed is you can see the iPad. It says required for the iPad. Now, you can make iPad screenshots too. But just to make our life a little bit easier, I'm going to just go to our Xcode and actually just remove the iPad. And let's not support it. And resubmit the build. Like I said, if you want to support iPad, then you just need to do the screenshots for it. Then let's go ahead and fill out some of these. So just give it your app a description. And just put some keywords in. I guess it will help for search. And this support URL. So this is just going to be the domain name. Now let's just leave that for a second. And copyright. Now we have an account based app. So let's put in the test Gmail so that the tester can actually use that account and try to test our app. Cool. So let's just come back to our app and actually create that test account for the Apple people. Nice. And then this is looking really good in the app information. Let's give it a subtitle. We can pick a category. And you can set up the content rights. So mine is a very simple app. So it has none of these things. There we go. And that's pretty much it. And in the app privacy, yeah, we have to give it the privacy policy, which we'll do in just a second. We need the landing page for that one. And down here, let's hit get started and data collection. No, we're not collecting data for any third party reasons. Let's go to pricing and availability. So let's just say $0. So it's a free download. And let's let the app be available to all countries. Sweet. So that's the general information. Now you can always just hit add for review to see what we're missing, right? So yeah, we've got that privacy policy and the support URL that we need to do. So that brings us on to the landing page stuff. So to submit your app, you need a website with a privacy policy page. So put your website in here. Now, if you don't have a website or a landing page and you don't know how to make one, I actually show how to code it up in my build launch monetize course. This one is part of the launch module where I show you how to code up a nice landing page in basic HTML and host it on GitHub for free. This is the same method that I use for my own apps. So check that out below if you're interested. Cool. Now that we have our landing page, let's give it to the privacy policy section. There's also a support URL that we need to specify. So that's just your website URL. Cool. And that should be good to go. So now we can save it and add for review. Submit to app review. 
and it has been submitted so now it's waiting for apple people to review your code and just make sure everything's good and hopefully you'll get this email saying that it was successful and your app is ready for distribution so you should be able to see it and download it from the app store